All hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today we are back with a 2020 fragrance review, and this time we are introducing a fragrance house that I don't talk about much on the channel. However, this one is really requested a lot. The last time I talked about this house, aside from a video that I recently did, was probably back in 2017. Within the list video, I talked about Unwashed Reflection Man. Today we are here with the 2020 release, Unwashed Interlude Man Black Iris. Now I think first things first with this fragrance, this one here to me is not your average scent, especially in terms of releases today. Now, if you know anything about fragrances, then you know you have designer fragrances, you have the Indie Scope. This one is a niche fragrance, and they really put a lot of quality and effort within their fragrances. Now, I, I kind of take something back. As I'm thinking about this house a bit, uh, I did a video about a year ago and there was this guy who really represented the house up on watch and he kind of went through all of the fragrances that they had available at that time but I haven't really dived into them myself now interlude man black iris comes in a very similar presentation to what you can find any of their men's fragrances and you have this uh, magnetic cap here which is really cool and that is your distribution. Now, a lot of the fragrances at this price point in today, I won't say a lot, there's some fragrances within this price point today that are coming with these uh, pressurized um, atomizers. However, this one really does still have solid distribution. Now, to me, Interlude Man and Interlude Man Black Iris isn't really for the faint of heart. Black Iris in itself doesn't have a ton of sweetness. Really, it's not much sweetness in this thing at all. To me, this one comes off as a bit dry and uh, sophisticated in itself. Let's talk about some of the notes in this fragrance and help you understand about this one a bit more. In the top of Interlude Man Black Iris, you're gonna have bergamot, rosemary, and violet leaves. In the mid is where things become a bit more, well, manly and a bit dry. So in the mid of this fragrance, you can have some notes like orish, you have frankincense, amber, cistus, myrrh, and you also have a pinch of vanilla, like that much. And then in the base, you're gonna have leather, agarwood, smoke, patchouli, sandalwood, and cedarwood. As I said, to me, this one isn't a fragrance that is for the faint of heart. To me, this one is a manly man scent, and also, this one just oozes and spills out the word sophistication. If you are a sophisticated gentleman, then this is a fragrance that you will likely enjoy. I believe the official write-up for this fragrance says that this one is a fragrance that is, is strong and powerful and really is dark um, chasing the light. And I think that this one is really that way. If you look at the mid and then the base of this fragrance, you get some darker notes and that top, right? You have some, some of those bright effervescent notes, that, but they kind of disappear. And the true beauty of this fragrance really comes into that uh, really dark play. Now, if you're not into dark fragrances, if you need something that's going to be uber sweet, then exit the video now because this one is not for you. However, if you are into fragrances that not everyone is going to have on that really will stand out, especially as we approach the fall and the winter, this is the fragrance that is definitely going to do that for you. This fragrance plays no games, holds nose bars, and if you're wearing this thing, you're definitely going to be smelled. Because of that, I would say you can go back on the amount of sprays that you're wearing with this thing. You don't need to go super heavy with it because this is a heavy scent in itself. Now, one thing I will say about this fragrance versus the original fragrance is that there was some of the citrus notes in the beginning of the original that you do not get in this one. Um, I think that this one definitely has a bit more bold approach to it. It's definitely drier. And if you're looking for something that, again, is going to be a, a bold, more aggressive stand, uh, really just stand firm type of fragrance that this is one that you can definitely wear. I believe that the, the removal of some of that 
that brighter, fresher notes within the original, although it wasn't super bright. Um, this one here really comes off as the fragrance that is a, a bit more bold, um, has a bit more depth, and it's also, I guess you would call it uh, fuller. Or you could say it has uh, a bit more body in itself. So um, if you're looking for a fragrance like that, then this is definitely one that I would tell you to try. Now I didn't mention that this one has agarwood within this fragrance, but I don't feel like the oud in this fragrance comes off. Um, I don't really think it's super detectable, but I will say that it probably just adds a bit more uh, depth to this fragrance and helps really keep this fragrance in place and grounded. Now, if you had any doubts about getting your money's worth with this fragrance, have no fear because performance is here. This one has beastly performance overall and checks all boxes with this one, really. So in terms of longevity, this one is beast mode. I actually put this on my longevity uh, beast mode fragrance list as you're going to get easy 12 plus hours on this fragrance. If you want to be conservative, you can say 10 to 12 hours. I don't think you'll need it much longer than that. But if you do, this thing is definitely going to lash you. On test strips, this thing has gone well beyond the 24 hour mark. And I know it's different on skin, but with that being said, you're likely going to get over your 12 hours on this thing with Ease. In terms of projection, well, this thing projects like a monster. This one is definitely going to be a fragrance that you spray on and you will get noticed. They're going to understand that you are rocking something and regardless if they like it or dislike it, you're going to be smelled. So as I said, earlier within this video go easy on the sprays on this one traditionally when i talk about fragrances i'm going three to seven sprays on fragrances however i would say maybe you can be done with this one on four if you go heavier than that then um you know uh, may the odds be in your favor but uh, i don't think you'll need to do that with this fragrance which means that this juice is going to last longer for you and speaking of last longer for you we want to make sure that your money lasts longer for you as well because if you use the code and the link down below you can pick this thing up from my people over at twisted lily and save 10 percent off of your order and that's regardless if you're picking up this fragrance or anything else on the site feel free to shop it and your boys are going to help you save what else do you need to do during this time right you need to save money and smell your best and if you are saving money you can smell your best more quickly because you can buy more fragrances that's just my logic and thinking you don't have to adopt that so if you're thinking about picking this fragrance up, when should you wear it? Well, I think this one is prime for the fall and winter. More so winter than fall. This one is definitely going to perform in the fall. But the winter, you're really going to see how this thing shines through. This one's going to cut through that cold weather like a butter knife to butter. A hot butter knife to butter. It's just going to cut right through that thing here because this thing as I said has beastly performance longevity is there projection is there and the sillage is here as well um, presentation on this thing as I already talked about is, is solid for this fragrance so I think this one is well worth every dollar they are asking for so you can check it out you can sample it you can buy it right out again use the code down below and you're going to save 10% in your efforts of doing so now who do I see wearing this thing well I know I said that this one has a beastly performance this one is manly but I think this one couldn't work for a man or woman who are confident and sure within themselves I don't think that um, an introvert would get away with wearing this fragrance I think this one projects too much it's loud enough unless you just want the, the fragrance to do the talking for you uh, then definitely uh, this one will be it so if you're looking for a fragrance to fit your personality style you're introverted you, you, you're in a bubble you don't want people to talk to you then don't reach for this one however if you're utilizing a fragrance that is going to um, really help you and accent that that personality style whether you are a boss within an organization or you know you just like to stand out this one is definitely going to help you in your process so be sure to check them out link is listed down below now to me for what this fragrance is and what it provides i would give it a solid eight i think it's uh probably um maybe would be like a nine or ten if it had better versatility but i think that this one is going to be more so for that fall and winter uh, i would like personally for myself i enjoy a little bit more sweetness but for what this is again I Top notch, all right? So 2020 release, stand out from the house of Unwash, in my personal opinion. Unwash, Interlude Man, Black Iris. That's my take on this thing. Let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have this one in your collection down below. I would love to know what is your favorite Unwash fragrance. Comment down below and let me know. As always, I'm your boy, B.
Big Beard Beat Hit the like, comment, and subscribe Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again And you already know what I need you to do Just hit the goddamn bell